In this question, we're given three linear relationships and asked to determine which of them have the same rate of change. Now, in linear relationships, slope is a measure of rate of change. So if we can find the slope of each of these um, and compare them, we can see which ones are the same. Let's start with relationship 1. And when we're given a graph, slope can be determined by looking at the rise over the run. And the rise here is starting from this point to this point is 5 units in the positive direction. And the run from here to here is 10 units also in the positive direction. Don't be confused by this negative 10. We still have to get from this point to this point going 10 units in the positive x direction. And we can simplify this. So 5 goes into the top once and to the bottom twice. So we end up with a slope of positive 1 half. And we should end up with a positive because we can see that the line goes up to the right. So anything that goes up to the right is positively sloped. Okay. For relationship number two, we're given an equation. Well, if we can put this equation in the form y equals mx plus b, we know that m represents the slope. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is getting the 3x out of this side and move it to the other side, and the positive 1 and moving it to the other side. And when we do that, we'd have 6y on the left, and then negative 3x, the signs would change, minus 1 plus 0, which is just minus 1. Then we divide everything by 6, all terms, and we'd end up with y equals negative 3 sixth x minus 1 sixth. And we can simplify this value here because 3 goes into 3 once and 3 goes into 6 twice. So this would become negative 1 half. So the slope here is given by this value, negative 1 half. Now in the third relationship we're given a table of ordered pairs. And when that's the case, slope is a measure of the change in y divided by the change in x. So let's look at the change in y. The change in y between each of these points is uh, one unit. And the change in x between each of these um, uh, points is two units. And these are two units, positive two units, and positive one unit here. So this will become in the y direction, we're adding one unit to each of these, so it's plus one. And in the x direction, we're adding two units, so this will become uh, uh, two. Okay, now we know what the rates of change for each of these are. Let's write this out. So m in the first one here is one half, positive one half. m in the second one is given by the value, of the coefficient of x, which is negative one x, uh, sorry, one half. And m in relationship three is given by positive uh, one over two. And we can see that the relationships with the same rate of change would be this one and this one. Therefore, our answer is relationship one. It has the same rate of change as relationship number three. And we can circle both.